The Ring of Kerry is an iconic and unforgettable Irish experience. And here are my top spots to visit along the way. My first tip? Do the smart thing and leave Killarney driving clockwise to avoid following the tour buses. If you do that, the first place you'll want to stop is Ross Castle, a 15th century tower house that's straight out of a fairy tale nestled on the shores of Lough Lian. Built by the O'Donoghue clan in the 1400s as a seat of power in the region, we spent about 45 minutes exploring the castle and grounds, soaking in the beautiful views and the atmosphere. Next up on my list of top stops is only a 13 minute drive down the road. Torque Waterfall, nearly 70 feet high and surrounded with beautiful trails that take you up the mountain. Ireland's reputation for showing off all shades of green under heaven is on full display here, where the woods are full of intense plant life and the sound of rushing water is never far away. You'll spend many hours behind the wheel enjoying the sights on the Ring of Kerry, so why not take these opportunities to stretch your legs and treat the rest of your senses? Next on my list is simply a suggestion to stop and enjoy the scenery along the way. Beginning with the short walk to this view of Muckross Lake, only minutes further down the road from Torp Waterfall. I don't have an exact name for this spot, but you can't miss it if you're paying attention. Is it any wonder that ancient people always describe the earth as being a spirit? Because when you come to a place like this, you really do feel that totally see Zeppelin riding Zeppelin 4 here. Amen to that. Nothing fancy, just perfectly and serenely Irish. It's quite a long stretch to my next stop, so I suggest stopping at leisure for views and photos along the way at places like Ladies View. Eventually, after 55 kilometers or so, you'll reach Cashel Steg, a 1,700-year-old Iron Age stone fort. It wasn't hard to imagine the history these walls had seen, and there's even a chance to get not just up close, but actually inside it. Judging by the discoloration on the stone here, I'm sure there must have been fires built in here at one point, so maybe this was a shelter room? This is really incredible. It's very small, tight quarters, but I could imagine that up here, you might need that to stay warm. Keep these stones nice and warm with a fire. Walking these walls is one of those experiences that keeps me coming back to places like this and the challenging weather only added to the atmosphere. By the time you reach my next recommended stop in the town of Cahersavine, It'll be late in the day and you'll be hungry. And while it is a food recommendation, it's oh so much more. Oratory Pizza. Literally a pizza church. In 2016, the O'Driscoll family bought this church, originally built in 1863 by the Church of England, and turned it into one of the most unique pizza joints you'll ever walk into. Pizza Church services are on. Their pizza is delicious, prepared with fresh, locally sourced ingredients, and was just what we needed after six hours exploring the Kerry countryside. It's about two thirds of the way through the Ring of Kerry Drive, but well worth the wait when you get there. If you take your time, it'll be late in the day by now but take one last opportunity and make the quick drive from town over to view the ruins of Ballycarbury Castle, cutting an atmospheric silhouette against the canvas of the Kerry countryside. <laughs>